that point in you know, Nick Saban's tenure at Alabama, I think you were starting to see, in some ways, a little bit of apathy from the fan base just because they had won so much. You know, the, the thirstiness for success was, I think, gone at that point. You know, he'd already won multiple national championships. And so, you know, I think you're starting to see the fan base, you know, maybe not get as fired up for some of these smaller games. Snap, Jacob straight ahead, no problem. Josh Jacobs with his fourth rushing touchdown. So, you know, they play Louisiana Lafayette and they win and, you know, you look around and the, the student section was, I think, about you know half empty and people are leaving very early. And we do have to remember is that, you know, that Louisiana game was, I think it was an 11 a.m. game. It was very hot out. You know, there are reasons why people were leaving that game early. Uh, but I think the thing that we always have to remember with Nick is that, one, I mean, there's the very obvious reason why you want fans at the game, and that's, you know, you want a loud, raucous environment. It gives you a home field advantage. But the other thing is that everything that Saban does usually relates back to recruiting. And so he wants to be able to have players at that game and seeing a full, loud crowd. He also wants his players to look up and see a full, loud crowd. I mean, it all kind of ties together. And so it was almost a little bit embarrassing, I think, for Saban. So I think he had to send a message, and I think it was certainly received. I can honestly say I was a little disappointed that there weren't more students at the last game. Um, so, and I think we're trying to address that. Uh, I don't think they're entitled to anything either. I, and me personally, I think it ought to be first come, first serve. And if they don't want to come to the games, they don't have to come. But I'm sure there's enough people around here to like to go to the games and we'd like for them to come too because they support the players. So I've never said anything about that before. You know, when I first came here, we used to play that tradition thing up there and everybody was cheering and excited and happy and there was great spirit. All right, now they don't even cheer. They introduce our players, nobody even cheers. So, um, I don't know, maybe there's something else somebody ought to talk about. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it. Maybe I already talked about more than I should. So, you all can beat me up for that if you want. In some ways, the game is the reward. This is where we're gonna put all the hard work uh, to the test and you want to be well received. You want fans there cheering you on. And I think, you know, it's kind of disappointing when you think, hey, we've been working so hard this whole week for this game and people don't even appreciate it anymore. And so I think that's kind of, again, where we're at at Alabama at that point where fans maybe weren't appreciating it as much as they used to. And I think he kind of had to set the record straight, like, hey, we need you out here and doing what you're doing if we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Medical Properties Trust, at the very heart of healthcare.